Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. We have some breaking news on the commanders. We have a shitstorm, so to speak. Let, let me say that with, uh, who? wow, um, their vice president of content. Raul Enteen, Enteen has a video taken of him that was undercover video of him out on a date in public. Apparently, he was kind of set up. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that, but here's what I'm gonna say. Here's what I've learned about content, and since he's the vice president of content, you have to be ready at the drop of a hat for something to happen. You know, game time, Brian and crew, they're always like, man, God, you know, you got to be ready because Mark is, you know, there's the camera, you know, and I wasn't expecting, I wasn't ready because things happen and here's how you need to live life. Okay. Here's how you have to live life because there's the only, the only place that things are private right here, right here. You know, it's funny because I've been thinking about getting another gas grill for here at the Red Brick House. I haven't searched for it online or anything, but somehow, somehow I've been talking to uh, Tracy about it and things like that, but somehow I'm getting all these ads for grills because somebody's listening, Google. So you have to act like somebody is watching every minute of the day. And the best thing to do is to live your life like somebody is watching every minute of the day. This guy, he goes on about Roger Goodell, about Jerry Jones, about us, the fans, that most of us are drunks, only high school educated, and so on. Um, let me warn you, this is very offensive. It's about 10 minutes long. But I want to listen to the whole thing in its entirety. I don't want just the cliff notes. I want to, I want to see what was this guy. He was on a date. And apparently maybe he was trying to impress the person and figured I can get comfortable. Let's listen to this guy. Okay, just so just walk me through again your breakdown, your, your just description of the commander's okay. players. Commander's Over players. Over 50% of our roster, right, is either white religious and God says... Meet Rael Enti, the vice president of content for the Washington Commanders. Another big chunk is very low income African American that comes from a community that is inherently very homophobic. Rael Enti goes on to say some of the NFL players are, Bro. quote, dumb as all hell. Would you say most people who work at the you NFL ain't too sprite yourself, bro. former boss, would you say that they're just not very smart? There's just obviously a spectrum, but yeah. like I've, I've met some very, very smart people. What about like the players? There's some that are like, dumb as all hell. Commander's VP of dumb content, all Ryle Enteen, discussed his disdain for NFL fans to our OMG American Swiper, stating they are, quote, high school educated alcoholics and mouth breathers. Most of the fans, I would say, are high school educated alcoholics. So they're like lower class people. I hate to use that term. I would just say mouth breathers. <laughs> I know it's way worse. He revealed that his job is to essentially operate, quote, state run media. Wow. My job is to sell hope to the fans, right? I need them buying tickets. When there's not much hope to sell, I still got to dig deep to find it. Why do you think there's not much hope to sell right because now? Because we had like pipes leaking sewage on our fans in the middle of the game. And I have to put out a social post saying like, it wasn't sewage water, we promise. That is state run media. Our OMG American well, Swiper. <laughs> so, so wait a minute, is he admit? Cause you, you, I remember when it happened, they said, oh, it was just rainwater. It was rainwater. It was a dra you know, a roof drain. It wasn't sewage. So you're getting all kinds of stuff. Now, apparently, I guess he was now working for the new people that they carried him over. Questioned vice president of content for the Washington Commanders football team, Ryle Enteen and his knowledge and opinion of NFL wow. Commissioner Roger Goodell. 
Call this is where you really screw up. $50 million dollar puppet. What about Roger? Oh yeah, he's a puppet. A $50 million dollar puppet. I am Roger Goodell, Commissioner of the National Football League, and I'm here today to discuss the NFL's efforts to promote safe and respectful workplaces. You have to watch the things you manage. You have to watch the things you manage. Wow. The National Football League has been watched by millions over the years and has been one of America's favorite pastimes for decades. But in recent years, the Washington Commanders have been in the news, mainly for their infamous name change from the Redskins to the Commanders and the scandal surrounding their past owner, Dan Snyder. We decided to investigate the Washington Commanders and the NFL. That's this brings us to our newest investigation into the NFL and the Washington Commanders. Meet mm -hmm. Ryle Enteen, the Vice President of Content for the Washington Commanders. Enteen has been with the Washington Commanders for four years and was with the New York Jets for two years. As stated on his LinkedIn, he is a social and digital media strategist, wow. content creator, storyteller, writer, editor, multimedia journalist, and brand marketer. Ryle Enteen revealed further to our OMG American Swiper about his job title, and what he does for the Washington Commanders football team. This is so just remind me again, what do you do for the team? VP of content. VP of content. And what does that entail? Making content. What type of content? Every type of content. I mean, literally like everything from memes on TikTok to an hour-long documentary show. That's the two big my team as well. Yeah. And so that's all under you. So you come up with the concept and the execution and everything. If not me, my team, I have, you know, I have 20. You've been at the Washington Commanders for four years. And where were you before? I was at the XFL startup Oh, that's right. And then what about before that? Rael and Teen, the vice president of content for the Washington Commanders, met our OMG American Swiper on the dating app Hinge. The VP of content for the Washington Commanders was asked Me about his wild. breakdown of the Commanders players, and oddly, in the wild. he started to attack the character of his own players, calling them, quote, homophobic. Oh, and he stated geez. the rest of his players are, quote, low-income African Americans that come from a community that is inherently very homophobic, unquote. Rael Enteen goes on to say some mm, of the NFL mm, players mm, mm. are, quote, Dumb as all hell. Wow. Okay, just, so just walk me through again your breakdown, your just description of the Commanders okay. players. Over 50% of our roster, right, is either white religious and God says fuck the gays in their interpretation. I don't, I don't buy into any of that, so, but that's, that's the facts. Another big chunk is very low-income African-American that comes from a community that is inherently very homophobic. Wow. I love hip-hop. Hip-hop is very homophobic. It's a, it's a cultural thing that I hope gets better, right? Like, Atlanta's a very interesting demographic. Like, it's southern, but, like, there's a very gay, black community. I would say... More than 50% are probably homophobic, and the remaining, let's even say it's 49%, are not necessarily homophobic, but that doesn't mean they want to go on record with a video saying, come out to private. Why not? Ah, well, here we go. The market wow. has plunged again. The writing is on the wall. It's time to take action. Okay. The elites and big banks are pulling... I, I'll, I'll end it right there. Let, let's end it right there. Shout out to OMG. Oh, my God. Media. Um... That's crazy. That's insane. That dude, your head of content. If anything, you know you should know about things going viral. Are you an idiot? This is a black eye for the commanders. I would have to think that this guy, he went after everybody. Uh, I believe they said things about Jerry Jones too, but I guess that's further on. Let, let me see. Uh, let me. This is the sales pitch where corporate media, this, that, and the other. Okay. Let's go some more. Work at the NFL with you as the exception and your former boss. Would you say that they're just not very smart? Well, I would say most of the people I've worked with, I've always said that. There's just obviously a spectrum, but yeah. I've, been, I've met some very, very smart people. What about like the players? It's a, it, there's a spectrum there. There are some that are like, dumb as all hell, and there are yeah. others that are very smart. I think there's also a 
sad but true, true reality that like you know, some start smart and they get in the head so much that they don't stay smart. I hate to say it, athletes and especially NFL players who get their head knocked around a bunch of times, they're more susceptible to stupid conspiracy theories. Commander's VP of content, Ryle Enteen, discussed his disdain for NFL fans to our OMG American Swiper, stating they are, quote, high school educated alcoholics and mouth breathers. Most of the fans, I would say, are high school I do breathe out my mouth. Alcoholics. I do have a high school education. Most NFL fans are like high school alcohol. educated alcoholics? Yeah. Really? With a violent... Like, yeah, I mean, there's fights in the stands all the time. Like, it is a... So they're, like, lower-class people. I hate to use that If you term, have five fights and 50,000 people in the stands... <laughs> That's not even better. I know, it's way worse. I love your the description of the NFL fans, too. Mouth breeders. Mouth breeders. And you said they're uneducated alcoholics yeah. Yeah. with a violent tendency. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. I stand by that. Same. What we need to do is look at their beer sales to know their alcohol. During the two meetings with our undercover journalist, Ryle Enteen also revealed that the NFL's social justice initiatives that we wow. see on TV are all, quote, performative. Enteen went on to say the NFL does not push these narratives out of the goodness of their heart and morality, and that the NFL only cares about their bottom line. So how do you explain the fact that the NFL is very much into, like, social justice? It's performative. What do you mean? I mean, it's not done out of the goodness of their heart and morality. It's done because George Protect Floyd changed the, the game. I mean that it, the, the social justice efforts are a performance for the sake of public perception and not because they, they want to actually push progress. I give you a to yeah. get support from liberals. No, I don't. I think it's to make as much money as possible. I think the NFL cares about the bottom line, like any corporation above all else. And they have, they don't need to really pinch pennies because they make so much revenue. Therefore, they can faux prioritize DEI for the sake of good publicity. Our OMG American Swiper wow. questioned VP of content for the commander. They strung this Ryle whole thing out. They, they strung it out. So, and opinion you know, shout out of to NFL them. Commissioner Roger Goodell, calling him a $50 million puppet. And he also reveals that Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones is the one who really runs the NFL and reveals that Jerry Jones, quote, hates gay people and black people, unquote. I don't think the commissioner of the NFL hates gay people, hates black people. So Jerry Jones, for instance, the owner who really runs the NFL, I think he hates gay people and black people. What about Roger? Oh, yeah, he's a puppet. So Roger's a puppet. Yes. A $50 million puppet. We were shocked wow. to find that Ryle Enteen, the VP of content, was so open with our OMG American Swiper wow. that he revealed that his job is to essentially operate, quote, state-run media. Enteen discusses a story to our journalists that the Washington Commanders had an incident. Um, yeah. Jerry Jones runs the NFL. And that's why, of course, the Cowboys are always getting screwed by the officials, right? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, this guy, he might disappear and be swimming with the fishies, if you know what I mean. This is some crazy stuff. I mean, was he trying to impress the lady? You know, they, hey, you know, if I say a whole bunch of stuff and how, uh, you know, let me, you know, talk about how important my job is and, you know, I'm having to be state run media and, you know, and, and so, you know, sell ice to an Eskimo and stuff like that, you know, that it would impress her and maybe, you know, a little something, something. But dag on, dude, that was not smart. Not smart at all. Alrighty, good people, as always, you're up to speed and I will see you soon because, hey, a little over 24 hours from now, we'll be watching football.